yeah, this one maybe should have just gone to the end, but it's just so crazy. I'll just put it in here. So uh, at the time that we are unquestionably like, um, I'll, I'll give the proper COVID update later, but basically uh, Osaka is considering now going into full state of emergency. It, the numbers there are going crazy, almost certainly because of the mutant strains that have come in and are more contagious. Everyone is saying, particularly the, the, the UK strain seems to be uh, wreaking havoc, as well as there are some mutations that seem to have evolved in Japan and seem possibly resistant to the shot that they're rolling out. So that's a thing. But yeah, basically, whereas right now, um, Miyagi Prefecture or Okinawa Prefecture, Osaka Prefecture, Hyogo Prefecture, Nara Prefecture, um, as well as Tokyo Prefecture are going crazy in terms of numbers. This guy comes up again, uh, still remembering he's got to make good on his $450,000 donation from the tourism ministry and said, uh, not only should we restart, go to travel as soon as possible, but we shouldn't stop it merely because we're afraid. I quote, if we if we don't do things just because we're afraid, then we'll never do anything. Uh, and and I pointed out that uh, you know I think I said this on Twitter that you know the, the reason that I don't put my head in a blender is because uh, I'm afraid. <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes being afraid is the right thing is a, the right basis for a decision uh you know the fact that right now japan is clearly going into a fourth wave without any preparedness or readiness for vaccination and this guy is still saying that we should be subsidizing people traveling all over the place and going to restaurants just shows how crazy the politics here is so um yes we have nothing to fear but fear itself and getting sick and dying uh, i think should be the uh <laughs> should be the slogan oh by the way Speaking of all of this, I, I have to share, I was tempted to share last night, um, totally unrelated topic, but um, on Two and a Half Voyages last week, um, I I knew that there was a YouTube Hanami this year, and I didn't say anything about it, because I figured, look, you know, I, if I say something about it, I'm going to say something negative, I'm going to say, you're an idiot, don't do that, uh, I'm going to be judgy and, uh, you know, preachy and puritanic and all that sort of stuff and I kind of thought well look I'm, I'm, I'm definitely not going to encourage it I think it's the wrong thing to do but at the same time people can make you know people are adults they can make their own decisions and uh, when Victor asked me about it on two and a half voyages last week uh, I kind of let the well you know I, I let the dam burst and I, I expressed my opinion when I knew there was a guy Bushido Devil Dog was there in the comments who had attended and I, I said, you know, listen, I think it was a mistake. I think it was like having a barbecue during a fire, you know, ban. Uh, I just think I, I, it was irresponsible. And and technically, I still think that. I, I, I you know, my, my position on that hasn't changed. And I, I guess I really wanted to give my cool metaphor for how wrong it was and how right I am. But at the same time, here's the thing. I, 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 I On Instagram, I saw the photos of it. And... It doesn't change the, any of the fact that it was it wasn't a smart thing to do and it wasn't a responsible thing to do and I worry about a bunch of gaijins in a park. I mean, in a park where, granted, they weren't fully blocking the hanamis and other people also doing hanamis. Well, it's not a good look. You know what? I saw the photos of the people at the Tokyo Hanami um, the other week and everyone looked so happy. <laughs> And it was so nice to see uh, everybody, frankly, getting together. And it's something I miss. I mean, I wouldn't have gone. I wouldn't have gone this year. I'm looking forward to going next year, I hope. But you know what? It was great to see so many people that I like um, and that seem to be enjoying it, including Bushido Devil Dog. And I, I thought immediately after, like, why did I say that? Like, I didn't need to make uh, him feel crap. Like, he wasn't sharing the fact that he went in order for me to unload. He was sharing it to say he had just had a nice day. And I saw the photos of it and they all had nice days. And yeah, you know, like I say, I'm never going to support something like that until it's safe and I'm hoping it's going to be safe soon but at the same time uh, I feel bad that I kind of you know I um, I let out a pent comment a pent up comment that should have stayed pent up frankly um, so I apologize uh, to anyone who went to the Hanami that heard that comment and felt crap because of what I said I mean yeah yeah like i say I, I i don't apologize for the thought or the logic i think i think the thought and the logic is sound but i'd actually take it a decision myself not to say that and when i said it you know what it didn't need to be said i think the people going they're all smart enough to know that there was a risk being taken and it was up to them and i was happy to leave it up to them so one thing i do want to say anyone watching this uh, <laughs> um you know who saw the thing last week uh it may not be watching this week because of it i'm sorry and by the way, I didn't get any particular reaction. This is just me thinking about it. Uh, I really did actually see the the photos, and I I, I did think, wow, that was actually really nice. Uh, it was really nice to see everyone. So I hope you did have a good time at the Hanami. At the same time, of course, please stay safe and be responsible. Um, 
and, and, and whatnot. But yes, uh, like I say, the the, the temptation, and, and, and not I want to say temptation. I mean, it's not even a temp it's a need that people have to go out and to you know be outside of their house and to see other people and socialize. And like I say, I'm, I'm really sympathetic to the businesses that rely on that, that are impacted. I'm sympathetic to the people who are missing that. Uh, I feel it myself. Um, I just, you know, at the same time, when I look at guys like this, uh, kind of tapping into that, frankly, for what I think is a self-gain kind of purpose. Um, you know, I, I, I have to say you're a doofus. I have to say, Nikai san, you're a doofus. Uh, but you know, um, I, I have to be really careful. I'm, I'm, you know, I really understand the pressure that people are under, and I, I, I want to go to as well. I want to take a, a travel coupon. I want to support the travel industry. And, and you know what? As soon as I get my shot, and most of the country has their shots, I am looking forward to everyone. You know, like unload the go to money, pour it on me. You know, um, pour the sugar on me. What can I say, Nikai? Do it, but after the vaccines, just not before. Just like oh, I don't, I don't want to get someone sick. I don't want to get sick myself. So that's the thing but um you know i really feel for people who are who, who are struggling right now and i'm sorry if that came across like i was being judgy or uh condemning people uh doing something that they made a thoughtful decision to do so anyway just wanted to say that into the comments raz good to see you raz it has been a long pandemic and I, i'm some i'm very sympathetic to people who are exhausted by it uh like Mr. Cordy Chip, although I realize that's a different reason. But uh, who else is in here? Paragoti, no need to apologize. You're more than entitled to your opinion. Yeah, I'm entitled to my opinion. But here's the thing. Everyone's got opinions. <laughs> I, I, I kind of decided I didn't need to share it. You know, uh, I, I, I didn't need to be weighing down on people. I, I, you know, the, I, th I think it's so easy nowadays to get into judgmental lynch mobs. And even me, everybody feels the urge. But, you know, um, I, 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 I regret that one anyway so uh yeah uh quinn ranked before maybe before i jump forward uh quinn ranked are the shots effective uh, will there be a time when they are um well look the shots that we're getting here are going to be the the pfizer ones although they're also getting a bunch of the astrazeneca ones i must admit um you know if i have a choice between the moderna pfizer and astrazeneca which we we may have by the time that it, they get around to you know me having a turn the Pfizer one seems to be the best one, but there again, I mean, I saw read a thing today that apparently it's not as effective on the South African variant. And this is the thing, the disease itself is evolving. Um, although I also read some news day before yesterday that, um, you know, drug companies are actually figuring out that they might actually be able to make a uh, pan coronavirus, you know, uh, vaccine which could work on all coronaviruses which would be awesome i mean and you think about what that means that also means not only you know sars mers COVID. it could actually mean cold, a, a, a lot of mild sort of colds and so on as well like uh the the fact that all the medical research like spurred by this whole COVID thing is leading and, and you know the, the 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 push on these rna viruses and the fact that it's leading to effective hiv vaccines um cancer vaccines um you know we're talking all of a sudden we're talking about incurable diseases the way that we talk about the flu you know um and people saying that these things are on a schedule now it's it's incredible the current shots however I, if i have a choice i'd take the pfizer just because it's got this amazing track record uh, i like the idea of the johnson and johnson one that you can get it in one shot the astrazeneca one frankly i look at the bbc and i see them you know it's kind of it pisses me off how, how bbc is always in um as we'll get to in some of the other stories if it's if it's something happening in another country they're like uh well the japanese government says that it's safe but can you trust the japanese government but when it's the uk you know when you've got 10 countries in europe uh stopping uh you know uh the vaccine to check if, if there's a blood clotting issue and you know bbc is like all is well other countries mistakenly stopping you know like they're they're actually putting in the sort of pro-pharma pro-government sort of propaganda thing to sort of for, to, to calm the people and I get it, but I, 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 the, the, the double standard is laid bare that, you know, they, they are in a Ministry of Information for the British government and, uh, you know, and, and sometimes hysterical tabloid journalists for everyone else. It can feel like that sometimes. Um, but yeah, yeah, I'll, all of them seem to work. And honestly, I'll take whatever uh, one, one is available. There's, there's not, I would take the Sputnik shot. I mean, provided I got the, the, the real one. <laughs> it sounds like some countries have some problems with, uh, with, with the deliveries. But uh, hell, even the Sinovac, even the Chinese ones, they're, they're all demonstrated to be effective to different degrees. And honestly, I, I, I'm, I'm not hesitating to take. But it sounds like the one that we've got in Japan is a good one. 
So yeah. Uh, Dan H, doesn't Japan have the highest percentage of anti-vaxxers? I think what you think of anti-vaxxers, or what I think of as anti-vaxxers in other countries and anti-vaxxers in Japan are different. Um, Japanese are cautious. Uh, you know, um, they express skepticism. They worry about side effects. But I don't think that the, you know, the percentage of people who see vaccines as being like a conspiracy to inject diseases and microchips and, you know, um, some sort of pharma conspiracy against people, the sort of conspiracy theory kind of type of anti-vaxxers, um, you know, that the uh, shots will give you autism and those sorts of crazy stuff. Um, that type of anti-vax, which I associate with the term anti-vax, that's, I mean, I'm sure that exists in Japan, but I've never heard it in Japan. I mean, other than seeing small groups of like 10 people holding signs in front of a train station, there is a very broad general skepticism um, there's not much in the way of public health programs. So, for example, most vaccines, are like the HPV vaccine, for example, are available. But, um, you know, the, the government doesn't really promote uh, vaccines, uh, you know, aggressively. And, and there's a lot of information available on side effects and so on. So, yeah, you have people being cautious. A lot of people express caution. But I'd be really surprised if there was a uh, if there was actually a rejection of the shots, you know, when they become available. I think every um, I personally expect that a lot of people in Japan that it'll be a pretty high adoption rate. But we'll see. Um, you know, uh, may, maybe the the, the 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 concerns about side effects will translate into people not getting the shot. But I, I'm certainly doing it. And look, whenever they have the flu shots at work, which they give out for free, twice, you know, once a year. Um, you know, pretty much everyone in the building, I mean, not everyone, and you know what, it's voluntary to go get it, but uh, I'm in a line of hundreds of people at work queuing up for the free flu shot, which isn't mandatory, but people take it. So, yeah, I think there's a high percentage of people who are just very conservative and worried about risk and, and, and who, who digest all of this information, but I don't think that they're like anti-vaxxers, like anti-vaxxers that you see in the news.